Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel talking all things hotshot trucking and today as promised we are going to talk about step by step on how to file your IFTA taxes. So I'm going to be going through on my computer to show you guys how I track all of our gas receipts that includes the diesel gallons and then how we track our distance mileage for our truck and those are the two things that you're going to need to file your taxes. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing that I do is I track all of the receipts, okay? So when my driver comes home, I have him give me all the receipts that he has. They are in order, and I actually track them on an Excel spreadsheet. Now, your ELD can track them for you. However, when we first got started, we use Keep Trucking, and they actually had an issue, like an IT issue, with not properly tracking everything. So we did upload a lot of our receipts onto the ELD, and when I exported the report, my numbers weren't just matching up. So it was a good thing that I actually tracked all the receipts on an Excel spreadsheet, and then I compared them to the numbers that the ELD gave me, and they weren't matching up. So I actually had to call uh, keep trucking their uh, customer service and they actually had a hard time figuring out why it wasn't tracking all of our numbers correctly so they actually had to get with the IT department and they had to fix some algorithms or whatever that is they do um, to fix that so um, moving forward I do have my driver upload to the ELD and then I also track on an Excel spreadsheet um, just so I can compare and make sure that the numbers are adding up right. You just never know, you know, an ELD is a computer system and sometimes it can mess up. So I do do a track on an Excel spreadsheet and I'll take you to the computer so we can take a look at that. Okay, so here we are on my computer and we are in Excel. Now, no way am I telling you that this is the right way on how to track it. This is just what works for me and makes it easy for me to track all the gallons that we use okay so as you can see I have all of the states listed here all the all of them right down here and then obviously the ones that we don't travel in are going to be blank but what I put first is the gallons that we traveled in each state okay so this is each receipt each one is each receipt and these are gallons and then I have them added up together right here under gallons okay and then we go scroll down to the bottom and we have the total gallons all added up right here so in the month of October this is the fourth quarter so I do break it down by month October November and December is the fourth quarter and so in the fourth quarter we have purchased a total of 1163 gallons and then on November a total of 742 gallons and then for the month of December we purchased 1142 gallons okay so along with the gallons you are also going to need a distance summary so a distance summary is how many miles you traveled in each state okay so it, for example Alabama in the month of no in the month of October we traveled 876 miles so Obviously, we didn't travel in Alaska or Arizona, so we're just going to leave those blank. And then all the way at the bottom, it will add the total of miles that we traveled in the month of October. So it was 8,000, a little over 8,000 miles in the month of October. Okay, so I do the same thing for the month of November, and I do the same thing for the month of December. Okay, so at the end, we are going to add the four of the three uh, months together to give us a total. So total, we traveled 23,000 miles, um, just about 23,000 miles for the fourth quarter. So that's October, November, and December together. And then I added up all of the gallons together. So we purchased about 3,048 gallons total. So that's also for the October, November, and December. Okay, so those are the two things that you're going to need to file your IFTA taxes. All right, so let me take you to our 
tax revenue site and this is where I file my IFTA taxes online it's much easier online so we'll take a break and go there so actually before we go to the tax revenue site I did want to show you guys what our ELD looks like and you can see here that I did a summary report for the month of December to see how much we traveled or where we traveled in the month of December so when I export this into a PDF file it's going to give me all of the miles that we traveled in each state okay so when you looked at my Excel spreadsheet this is where I got my numbers from for my mileage okay so um, we're not going to take a look at this gas right here because sometimes you know your drivers might forget to upload a receipt but they'll bring it into you so this is exactly why I keep an Excel spreadsheet of all this information but obviously I can't track all the miles um, you know manually so the ELD definitely is going to do this for me so this is all of the miles that we use um, or that we drove in the month of December so you know your driver can go to you know upload documents and this is where he is going to upload the fuel receipts okay guys so this is where I'm getting he can upload the state the jurisdiction that he's in diesel the volume and then the total cost now you can enter all this other stuff but you know it's clearly stated on the on the uh, receipt so I just what I have my driver do is I have him just upload the jurisdiction that it was in uh, the volume and then the total cost okay so let's cut to the tax revenue site okay so we are on the Georgia tax revenue site so once you get your IFTA number you will sign up for at your state's tax revenue site and this one is for Georgia so you will get a username and password so you can log in and file your, file your taxes online okay so this is what the page looks like um, so in the very beginning it's going to calculate your miles per gallon so the only fuel type that we uh, purchase was diesel so I'm going to add in all my IFTA miles so this is all the miles that we traveled in each state for the month of October November and December remember that fourth quarter is just October November and December so this is all the miles that we traveled in every state for the fourth quarter uh, non IFTA miles is going to be zero non IFTA miles are territories that don't participate in IFTA and that's territories like Hawaii District of Columbia, Yukon Territory, Mexico, etc., etc. So make sure that you do your research and find out which ones are non IFTA miles. Um, so our total miles is the same as our IFTA miles, and then our total gallons is all the gallons that we purchased for the month of October, November, and December um, in each state. Okay, so then your MPG is just going to be your miles divided by the total gallons and it's going to give your miles per gallon okay so just an example um, for second quarter the miles per gallon was 7.61 our third quarter was 7.12 and our fourth quarter here is 7.55 so you want to make sure that your miles per gallon for each quarter it stays around the same number okay well, that's not going to raise any red flags as long as it stays around that same number and you don't have any you know high fluctuations it's not going to raise any red flags if you do have uh, fluctuations there it's going to raise a red flag and it's probably going to get you an audit so also make sure that your MPG falls between 5 and 10 that's what they're looking for is an average between 5 and 10 so if you are going above that or below that you're probably not calculating your gallons correctly or calculating your miles correctly so just make sure that your miles per gallon falls between 5 and 10 and then as you go through each quarter that they stay around the same number okay so moving forward I did already start on some of them um, so I can show you so first you're going to type in your diesel or your full fuel type so in this case it's diesel your jurisdiction which is the state and then total miles that you traveled in that state um, the taxable gallons is taxable gallons it takes your tax your miles divided by your MPG and it gives you 
taxable gallons for that state. Okay, and then it's going to tax paid gallons. So this is the amount of gallons that we purchased in that state. And then what's easy about the uh, online, it's going to calculate everything for you. So it gives us the rate that Alabama charges, and then it's going to calculate everything. So as you can see here, uh, Alabama actually owes us. And then for the state of Arkansas, we owe them. And so as you go down through each state, it's going to add it all together and then you're gonna get a total. So just for example, let's go through here and we'll keep adding on some states. For diesel, the next jurisdiction that I'm going to put in after Delaware is Florida. And in the state of Florida, we traveled 1,797.4 miles. And as you click over, it's going to round it to the nearest decimal point. So your taxable miles is going to be the same because all those miles are taxable and then it's going to give fill in the rest. Okay, so this is your taxable gallons. Remember taxable gallons is total miles divided by your MPG and these, this is the taxable gallons in that state, in the state of Florida. Okay, so tax paid gallons is the amount of gallons that we purchased, which is 151.932. And again, it's going to round it to the nearest decimal point and then it's going to calculate everything for you with the rate and everything. So for the state of Florida, we owe $30. Okay, so for the next row, we are in the state of Georgia is next. In the state of Georgia, for the third quarter, we traveled 3,065.3. It's going to round it to the nearest dex decimal. All of those miles were taxable. So we'll put the same number in here. It's going to calculate my taxable gallons for me and then I'm going to enter my how many gallons we purchased in that state for the fourth quarter and then it's going to calculate everything out okay so for Georgia we owe ten dollars and then as we keep going the next state is Idaho and in Idaho we actually just traveled through Idaho. We didn't purchase any gallons. So as you go through, I'm going to list zero for tax paid because we didn't purchase any. And so it's gonna calculate it out. So what this is gonna do, the online, what IFTA, this online IFTA is going to do, it's going to calculate all of what I owe for each state and then it's going to redistribute the taxes I owe to each state for me. So you're not going and individually paying each state. What this will do is calculate it all and then redistribute the money for me, okay? So I will fill in the rest of the states and then I will show you what I owe at the end. Okay, before we move on really quickly, I do wanna talk about exemptions. So make sure you visit the website uh, the IFTA website and take a look at the exemptions for each state. So if you do qualify for some of the vehicle exemptions, fuel exemptions, distance exemptions, and when we're talking about total miles and taxable miles, if you do qualify for some of these exemptions, those might not be the same, quite like mine. So for example, uh, in the state of Idaho, they do have fuel exemptions. Okay, so we're gonna click in there click Idaho and see what their exemptions are. So exempt fuel claim, click here, and it's gonna break it down. So the fuel exemption for Idaho is undyed reefer fuel not drawn from the main supply tank. So if that does reply, or if that does apply to you, then you will claim your refund on a separate form. Okay, so just make sure that you guys are checking uh, this website and see if you guys qualify for these exemptions and then you can add that into your taxable miles. Okay, so as you can see here, I inserted all of the states that we traveled in. 
So it's about 36 rows, so we traveled in 36 states, and there is two states that I want to talk about. There are two states that require a surtax line. These are the only two states that require this. They are the only two states that charge an extra surtax. So one of the states is Kentucky, so you're going to have one line for your miles and then all the gallons that you put in, and then you also are going to put in another line with the surtax box checked and it's going to calculate everything for you. So um, it has in the first one, it has us them owing $11.66, but then the surtax uh, is $7.55. So those are going to kind of even out and balance out. And then the second state is Virginia. So you're going to input in the first line your miles traveled and then the gallons that you purchased and it's going to calculate that, that out too. So we actually owe them $9.04. So those are the only two states that require that. But as you can see, there's a lot of states that I owe and then a lot of states that owe me. So on the very next page, we will see what the total is. Okay, so as you can see here, we owe a total of $96.50 for the fourth quarter and this is our summary report so these are the miles that I put in in the beginning and then after the report was done the, the all the miles added up so make sure that those match and then make sure that your miles per gallon match up too as well okay so that is it for the IFTA filing taxes if you guys have any questions or see something that I'm doing wrong definitely let me know and I will see you at the desk. All right, so we are back at the desk and that is how I file my IFTA taxes. It is very time consuming. Um, I do do things manually. As you can see, I have my Excel spreadsheets all printed out here and then I do some calculations on the side, but the EOD is supposed to make things a lot easier for you. Um, but sometimes I just don't trust the ELD, so I do do things manually, and then I, you know, compare my numbers just to make sure that the ELD is correct and, and that I'm correct as well. So I hope this video definitely helps you. Let me know how you guys file your taxes or if there's anything I'm doing wrong or anything I can do better. Uh, please let me know. I am open for criticism, constructive criticism, that is, but definitely like and definitely comment below and definitely subscribe. Thank you for watching.